Now, this article has just come out later, and nobody knew about these people praying and when they prayed and what they prayed. But later on, how many of you know that prayer confirms prayer? When you pray today, what pastor and us have prayed here tomorrow, to right now in the f- last few minutes, you can wake up tomorrow and it's what is all over the news that the oil spill has already stopped. How many of you believe that? I have a few people believing that. You know, Satan has beaten the church so much that we've lost the, the fervent and faith in our spiritual language, in our communication with God. That we have to come back first. We have to come back to the place of believing that every word that comes out of our mouth has got an impact to influence the spiritual heavenlies and cause something to happen. We've got to be radicals of prayer. That we know, we don't speak our language, we speak a spiritual language that Satan cannot even try to touch. Amen? So, when I go back to the story, these guys pray that Hitler will fail. But how was he going to fail? And exactly how they prayed, this is what happened. Is that, you know the story, I I wasn't born then, some of you were born, I'm sorry, you know. That Hitler decided to split his army, one going to Britain, another going to Russia. And that was the end of him. When he split the two armies, that was the greatest blunder that caused his defeat in World War II. But those little young men somewhere had prayed that we don't see any way we're going to see any (laughs) this guy being broken or defeated But Lord, intervene in any way you can that Satan's agenda over this region will never take effect. Satan's way, Satan's plan cannot take effect. How many of you have prayed like that over your children? How many of you have prayed that over your church? How many of you pray that any agenda the enemy has against our community, our city, our nation will never take effect? No matter who is president, who is the politician, a senator, a mayor, a policeman that's not in the line with the purpose of God, it will never take effect. God has got plans, but Satan has got plans too. How many of you know that? And a lot of times we see the plans of the enemy effective. A lot of times we see that. And we look on the side and say, oh, what are we going to do? We look like we're defeated. We look like we don't have hope. We, don't, we look like we don't have anything to do. But God says, I have given you the weapon of prayer. I have given you something that you can utilize. You can do it in your flesh and in your might. But when you call on me in the hour of trouble, when I hear you, I will come in and intervene and change that situation that's going on in your life. How many of you believe that? And that's the time we're living in. Amen? We're living in the time where it's even so crucial. Now, when I say that, I have to remind you that I come from a nation that was once torn apart. When a lot of people, I, t- I share with them about prayer, and they say, oh, yeah, 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 we can pray, you know. But I tell them that we were driven and forced to pray because we had no way out. And now I'm, I'm here in this nation, I'm almost now seeing almost the same things that I saw when I was growing up in my country begin to happen over here. And I said, wow, what is happening? But it's also going to be an awakening that's going to take place in the body of Christ. Amen. It's going to bring us to a place of no holding back and say, you know what, God? Now we can get on our knees and command you to come in this situation and intervene and change it and transform it in Jesus' mind. And we were forced to pray at a time when we never believed that Uganda can change. That we can, we can, you can go to sleep without a bullet going on or dead people on the streets or anything that was happening now when we begin to see that today and remember that we were forced on our knees then and i realized that's what god had wanted us to do in the first place we better pray now before we are forced to pray we better start calling on god for america now